When a body is projected upwards with a speed of 30 meters per second, we know that its speed will continuously decrease as it displaces itself upwards to maximum height when its speed is zero. However, on its upward path, after a particular known time, let's say two seconds, what are its speed and how far upwards has it reached? We shall now look at how to find the displacement at a particular time instant. We shall also look at how to find the displacement at that same particular time instant, as well as the velocity at that particular time instant. To do that, we can use equation 1, substitute with the initial velocity to be plus 30, the acceleration to be minus 10, and our time of 2 seconds, and we will get a velocity of plus 10 meters per second. The plus means that it's still moving upwards. To find the displacement at the particular time instant, we can use equation 3. Substituting into equation 3, our initial velocity, 30 meters per second, times the time of 2 seconds, the acceleration is minus 10, multiplied by the time of 2 seconds squared. Um, this product here gives us a half times minus 10, that's minus 5. 2 squared is 4, and therefore gives us minus 20. So the total displacement is 40 meters. That means that when the ball is projected at 30 meters per second, after 2 seconds, it will be 40 meters upwards, and its velocity will be 10 meters per second at that point. It is easy to see that if we knew the displacement and wanted to find the velocity or time, or if we knew the velocity and wanted to find the displacement and the time, then we could use the kinematics equations in the same way to be able to solve the questions. Remember that each time you're using the kinematics equations, the only thing that remains constant is the initial speed that it was thrown up with and the acceleration. V, S, and T are variables that change together. 